adrenaline short term is great for you. Great for you. Long term though, long term, adrenaline starts to cause a big problem. Do you want to know why? Because short-term, it's fantastic. People ask me this all the time. They're like, John, is it the stress response, an innate response that we were born with? Yes, it is. So how can it be bad? It isn't. Never forget this. The stress response is good for you. As a matter of fact, it's great for you and necessary for you to survive as long as it's short-term. Do you understand me? The stress response is a healthy, natural, immune response inside your body as long as it's short term. This is the key for this. It has to be over quickly. Think about it. Even back in caveman days, if I'm chasing a tiger, one of two things is happening. I'm either killing the tiger or the tiger is killing me. But that's not an all-day affair, right? Same thing happens today. If I had a gun to your head right now, and I said, you got 10 seconds to run before I start pulling the trigger. Now you need adrenaline. You need adrenaline to get the hell out of Dodge, right? But once you're gone, once you're away from me, what happens to your body? When the threat's gone, everything goes back to normal again, right? You run around the building, you're like, oh my, that John's crazy. He's gone though. He's gone. I'm good. I'm good. And everything goes back to normal. That's what the stress response was for. It was to get you out of a bad situation. So what does adrenaline do then to get you out of that bad situation? It brings blood to the heart, muscles, and brain. Heart, muscle, and brain. That's good, right? Because if I want to beat up somebody or run away, I need blood flow in my heart, muscle, and brain. That makes sense, yes? But you only have so much blood flow in your body. You only have so much. So if I give, I got to take. So who do I take from? Reproduction, the immune system, and the GI system reproduction, the immune system, and the GI system. Now, short term, that's a good deal. Because think about it. If I had a gun to your head, does it matter if you can digest what you just ate at lunch? Doesn't matter. You have to survive right now. You with me? If I had a gun to your head, does it matter if you can reproduce right at this moment? Does not matter. So short term, this is a good deal for you. But long term, we got a big problem. If that stressor doesn't go away, If that stressor doesn't go away, if the guy with the gun to your head, if he doesn't leave, that stress response stays high. So adrenaline starts to leak out long term. Well, do you know what else starts to leak into your body when you have these stress hormones? This guy right here. You see this interleukin-6? You know what that is? That's a protein inside the body that triggers the inflammation response. So when you're under stress, chronically, guess what else starts to leak out? Inflammation. Inflammation. 